Hi friends, this is Tej. You're watching X Official Tech. This is Redmi 4A and uh, this is Android 11. So today in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts and experience about a custom ROM which is Android 11 based, and I will show you the complete installation guide in the end as well. So without further delay, let's get started. I bought this Redmi 4A in uh, 2017, and I started installing custom ROMs since two years. So I have installed many ROMs like a Lingage, XOSP, Resurrection Remix, etc. But this is the best ROM I have seen. This is the Nusantar OS. As you can see in the settings, this is Android 11 based. And it comes with the security patch of September. I have been using this ROM since 2 weeks as my daily driver. I see no lag. I have been playing COD Mobile in this Redmi 4A. As it comes with the poor specifications, the game is running very good at low settings. In this room, you don't get camera app and uh, other apps like uh, other custom rooms. So you have to install from third party sources and you don't get uh, G apps in this room. So you have to install from third party websites like a uh, Cytogen and I am giving those links in the description you can download from them. If you ask me to recommend a room, I will surely recommend this uh, Nusantara version 2.2. This is an Android 11. So, you can download from the description and you can install. Let's get into the performance test. Let's get into the settings and I'll show you the graphics quality which is low and I set the frame rate to medium and I turn off the depth of field. So let's have a game. As you can see, the, you don't see any lags in this game. I'm not that good at playing games. to lose the game you are defeated as you can see the battery is dropped about 7% which is not so bad for this you need to unlock your bootloader and you have to install a third party recovery which is a TWRP or Batic. I recommend you to install Batic recovery. So let's get into the recovery first. Firstly you have to turn off your device and make sure that your files are in a SD card not in the internal. Hold volume up and power button to get into the recovery mode. I have installed Batic recovery in my device. So firstly you have to wipe your data, Davic and ART Cache, Substratum OS, System, Data, Internal, Vendor, Cache. So make sure that those files are in a SD card. I will show you the files, those which you have to install. 
this is the ROM that is uh, you are going to install Nusantara version 2.2 Rolex and you have to install GApps which is available in Synogen.com so this is the one Nick GApps so after completion of wipe go to install and install this Nusantara OS ROM 2.2 and swipe to flash after the installation go back and in click on install and um, select the GApps flash to install after completion of the installation go to wipe and format your data in order to get into the ROM completely after completion of that reboot to system to get into the ROM first boot may take about uh, 5 to 10 minutes so don't panic don't click any button this is a boot animation of Colossant and Rower you don't get a um, camera app in the system so you have to install from the third party pages so I'll, I'll be giving a link which is the, not the best the camera app so you may use it as a daily driver or you can install Gcam but one thing with this ROM is Magisk Manager you can't install any Magisk module I don't know why I will show you. thank you for watching if you like this video give thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more notifications click on bell icon this is Sage signing off